Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, take this rainbow moonstone, which is quite high uh, for the cabochon, and make your own bezel wire. I'm using my Pepe rolling mill, and as you can see here, I have some stock bezel wire. Uh, nothing really fits, even my tallest bezel wire, which I'm not even going to show, uh, doesn't fit either. This is the sterling silver one that I had rolled out. So in the next couple clips, I'm going to show you how to achieve this using your rolling mill. First, you're going to take the oval stone, if you're using an oval stone, and you want to measure the length and the width. And all you have to do is add those two numbers together, and then you're going to divide that by 2, and then you're going to times that by 3.5. And then you'll get the total length that you're going to need in order to surround the stone with enough bezel wire. So you can also cut the length probably 10 to 15 millimeters shorter than what you measured or what you will need because when you roll it through the rolling mill it's going to get longer, uh, significantly longer. So you don't have to worry too much about actually cutting it to the exact length uh, that your calculations call for. It's not going to get wider, just the rolling mill will really just lengthen it out for you. So you could probably do a couple projects with one strip. So here I'm just cutting it out. I'm using a 20 gauge sterling silver sheet and you can use whatever you'd like, whatever you have on hand. That's the best part of using your rolling mill. You get to utilize the tools or the materials you already have in stock. So if you want to just stock fine silver, you can do fine silver and you can make all sorts of bezels. And if you're more comfortable, it is easier to set with fine silver as opposed to sterling because it's a lot softer. So again, we're just cutting that out and we'll go to the next clip. So here you can see this is the original length of the sterling silver wire we cut. It's about pointer finger length. And this is going to significantly uh, lengthen when we're done. So I'm adjusting the top dial to make sure that there's enough tension. You don't want it to be too tight or too loose. This way you don't distort your metal. And then we're going to pass this through the rolling mill. You'll keep repeating this process until you achieve the desired length and gauge. And in between doing this, you want to go ahead and anneal your piece. So this way you have nice soft metal. Uh, this will keep the stress off of the metal. And also the softer it is, the easier it is to roll out. And it will happen a lot quicker. And you'll really achieve the gauge that you're looking for. So we're going to get, just keep on going and cranking that baby up. And you're going to just keep doing this, like I said, until you achieve that gauge that you're looking for for your bezel wire. So this is about midway through. I have rolled it out. You can see it got a little bit longer and we're gonna just keep going. And once you're done rolling it out, you're going to go ahead with your project and use it like you would any other normal bezel wire and wrap it around your stone to create your perfect bezel wire for your project. And this is just a great way to utilize, like I said, whatever you have on hand without having to go ahead and buy different bezel wire for different projects. So I made some accent wires and details. You can obviously do whatever you want for your project. And I'm just cutting out the back plate. This is the same silver that I used for the bezel wire that we rolled through the mill. And I'm just cutting this out. And then I'm going to solder this up so I can attach a ring shank. Obviously there's a few steps in between this. I just wanted to show the gist of the project. And in this next clip, we're just going to solder everything together. I'm using medium solder and just placing all of the little medium solder balls around the project and I'm going to evenly heat it and then we can cut out the back plate and attach it to a ring shank. 